Without four eyes, he had no chance. I see an option here for Tempest with a Wild Shroom start with Tempest, right? I see an option for Wild Shroom start with Tempest, and I've got Pilgrim Yuzora for late game, as well as Great Boar for late game. So I think, can, I'm thinking, can I survive with Wild Shroom, Tempest, and Pilgrim as my DPS? I think so. I think that's actually a relatively solid triple and entente. Um, I don't know, though, how I'm going to hold early game. If they send me a snail, I'm really hurting. So what I'm going to do is start off with a wild shroom. We're going to push four workers, not five, because I need to make sure I hold here. So 138 minus 50. Yes. Yeah, not a problem. Glad I could help you out. Glad I could help you out. Okay, that's huge for us. That's a leak. That's a leak. We needed two gold. We need two gold. Let's go. Let's go. We kill him. Uh, masks were flying at one point, and it was one of the most overpowered, broken things you'll ever imagine. Um, what elo do people hit a wall on? It really depends on how good you are at the game, my man. Um, and though you, people will hit walls at a, a whole host of different time periods. So it's like, really depends on where you and your, uh, where you and your skill cap really is. So we start one, two, three above. What's going on, Scove? Haven't seen your face in a while. Um, LOD, when LOD was considered flying, LOD Tempest was so good that if you had it, it was almost an instant win. Okay, he holds. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, an elo wall will definitely come eventually. But it really depends. Yeah, Skull, we played a couple days ago. I don't know if you remember. I think you were drunk as fuck. Maybe I was in another game I'm thinking of. We're going to send us a snail here just to make sure we get a little bit extra gold. We're going to do like this and like this. So, this mask probably won't pull very much, but we don't really want it to pull a ton. We want it to pull just a little bit. We want this to get actually a pretty good split going. Now, there's also an option, too, I could have went where I go Wild Shroom on one, go three worker, and then get a canopy on two, I think. That was also an option for this roll. I didn't do that for a lot of reasons, but um, it is an option. He has cat, too. Interesting. Is a single snail enough to leak him here? Flying LED was almost as nutty as release cat. I don't remember release cat very much, to be honest. Thanks for the follow, Chibakawi. Ch Ch Chiba. Yeah, wait, wait. I don't know how to pronounce half that shit anymore. Kiawi, whatever it is. Thanks for the follow, Rico Slovis. I'm drunk. Should I door dash or stay at home and play this? I mean, you know my answer. I always stay home. Not enough gold. I mean, definitely cat on release was not 
bad. If you have guys have any questions, I know we got a bunch of new people in chat. If you guys have questions, feel free to jump in. Um, and ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, they both leak, though. My teammate holds... Um, I don't know, something, because I'm playing good today. Um, you probably tried splitting with things that are not really splittable. Um, or just bad, bad RNG. Bad RNG could have been part of it, Lanky. You need to make sure, though, that your split is not a ranged split that was going to wrap. Because if you have, like, another mask back here, it's going to cause the split to go from this mask to this mask back to your back line. Nilla. Being drunk as fuck probably doesn't help your ability to get a duo partner. <laughs> Leave that portion out. Leave the portion out. You might get a duo partner quicker. Wrapping can be good, but it depends on your backline and, like, how far into the game you are. Because the backline wrap is kind of like a specific build thing. Um, yes, I have explained that cro uh, a little bit, Croats. Ah, fuck. I was two gold off and I didn't send because I'm a dummy. Um... Just build another one of these and push a worker. No, Nilla, you're not wrong for uh No, I'm gonna call you Croats because your name's different. Is Shaman Yazora better than So um I think Green Devil is better in general for um the upgrade from the Pilgrim, but it's still usable. It's still usable. Sell Tempest by Cano? Yeah, I could have sold my split. I could have sold my split. Like, no no joke, my split really could have died there. Because it's kind of in a shit spot anyway. But I don't really want to waste the 10 gold. Not this early in the game, that is. We're going to try to do some damage on my guy. I was hoping my teammate would leak. I could have got a double. But uh, it's fine. I'm just going to push again. Who cares? No worries. No worries here, really. No worries here, really. And, like, there's no reason to not. Right? No reason to not push. They've sent me, like, every wave. I really don't think he's going to have much more than, like, a 40 to 60 send. Maybe maybe 80. Maybe 80. But even then, Canopy is still really strong here. We're going to push another worker. As I can. He hardens here. I re. Just because of this. Lanky, yes. If they send you like 40 Mythium over multiple turns, you can still push a single worker off of it. You can even push a single worker off just a, a 20 send if you feel really confident in your build on the next wave. I don't recommend doing that, but it is doable. It is doable. For new players, at least, I don't recommend it. Like, it's it's definitely very easy to do as a as an experienced player, but um, as a new player, I don't recommend pushing when you don't think you're going to guaranteed hold. And then if you, then at that point, wait till you get forty. You know, wait till you get two twenty cents or something of the sort.
It comes with experience, though, 100%. It's, it's a time thing. It's a time thing more than anything, Lanky. Um, you'll get there. The learning curve's steep if you want it to be. You know, if you want the game to be complicated, it's very complicated. Hey, have a good one, Croats. Appreciate it. The enemy's got that, uh, got that definitely the all aim, no brain commitment. If you're leaking a lot, what should you do from falling behind? Should I risk them leak and push workers or work on defenses? What is the ideal thing to do in that situation? If you're leaking a ton, I always recommend trying to play value. If you're leaking a ton, try to play value. Um, otherwise, it's kind of tough to say. Right? Like, you, you want to try to continue to push workers because as soon as you stop pushing workers, you're going to fall behind. And as soon as you fall behind, you're not going to be able to k get your power level back up to a, an acceptable point, right? So it's a little bit of a, of a challenge. Let's go. Um, what do you do if your opponent is leaking most, if your teammate is leaking most rounds and not able to build workers, never leaks his opponent? Um, you got to kind of get your carry pants on in that situation. Like as much as I hate to say it like that, but if your if your teammate can't hold, you're the one that has to hold for him. It's it's kind of a shit situation to be in sometimes, but it's it's kind of the truth. Um, you got to just start kind of playing like you're playing from behind because you are. Um, you just keep pushing, and if you're if you're covering his leaks, just keep pushing, just keep pushing, and keep trying to cover. That's like my my two cents at least. I should hold this pretty easily. Mama. Giga banana, yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Stay safe if it's that windy, guys. Stay safe. I need you guys all to watch my, my videos and, and continue to support me. So if you die, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't get hurt, please. Thanks for the follow, pudding guy.
I'm kidding in the whole like you have to support me so don't die thing. Appreciate it, Pudding. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the content. Glad you are enjoying the content. Uh, means a lot that you come around. No, I don't want anybody to die. It's actually quite the opposite. I don't want anyone to die ever is, is actually more of my issue. Hmm. Do we go fourth brute? Do we not? I think we go, we go imps here. That is if they don't both leak here, which they do, maybe. They both leak here? Yeah, yeah, good shit. Titus, no! Um, I can still put two butchers there. I'm not limited by that positioning, is what I'm really trying to say. Let's go. I resend here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have... Boom, boom. Like this. Let's just up... This, fall, this mask to a false maiden for chits and eagles. Yes. Those lost chieftains are so strong when you want them to be. Uh, no. Mask does not count as flying. Mask, sadly, is not a flying unit. They are hovering ground units, if that makes sense. And, and in my opinion, that does make sense, right? I don't know if these guys are going to be able to handle the fact that I got a Mega Bunk coming at them. Sweet, I got that kill. Let's go, that was huge. Um, depends on what my teammate wants to do. I'm gonna let him choose in the next end. Uh, we might kill. We might kill them before the 20k bunk comes out. Yeah, my teammate wants to send again, so I'm just gonna send with him. That's a fine decision of his. I'm gonna go with a brute extra. This is one of those games where we are able to just kind of. I don't wanna call it easily, but just get ahead and stay ahead again because of their big leaks early. Right? Like, if they didn't leak so hard early game, we sit in a lot better situation. Yeah, it's completely fine to put to push still when we're this close to two workers. Honestly, two workers being like a thing is is more or less reserved for like if you get a send on fifteen, in my opinion, or classic. If, if you're trying to like go hyper carrying classic, then yeah, save. But for the most part, like you're fine to have worker to to push workers on fourteen. Don't need to worry about it. I'm 
going to resend here, and then we go 17 or 18 next, I think. My team can here, that's fine. <laughs> you see, Nilla, now that that's how you get people to, to join. Uh. Uh, my teammate, that's a little more egg than I'd like, like from him. But we'll see. That is what a drunk man would say. True. You were guys not wrong. Thanks for the follow. Petro? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to pronounce your name. Sorry, my man. we do that or we do this? I think we do that and then just add a couple more DPS units. Um, right now, putting this game, we're trying to just scale late game because I feel really strong on these couple waves. Oh, he did get a full stack Hydra. Perfect. He's very overbuilt here, which is good. So what, what I'm looking at, though, is like I see that they have... Some units that are pretty good on 17 right now in Elite Archer Boars. And so I think we need to go later on them because of that. I'm pushing really hard off this. Yeah, he has 400 value wasted in the eggs, but he's still very strong on this wave. I think we go 18. I think we very easily go 18 right now. Like, no worry. Eighteen, my guy's strong, but I think we can get through. He has no tanks. Right, I think his, he could have definitely got him if he sent full sent the one, the extra uh, hundred and forty. But that's not saying a whole lot. Uh, he's tilt. He's tilt sending now. Nice. All right, so I gotta see what I need to send here. So he's got a ton of splash damage for the wave. He's got no tanks, right? He's got no tank. So what I might just do is go um, shaman, and then a fuck ton of backline in my like in like front line, I should say, in turtles, because the turtles are gonna turtles are gonna sustain me here in, in terms of getting through like the violets his violets are his, his, again his like one of his only damage dealing sources he doesn't have anything spawning for me to really say which at this point um i'm mostly doing the frontline units though because it blocks out all of his damage from a lot of these units and he's just using egg effectively try to get it down on wave two and then at that point i don't really think egg is very viable for most new players if you don't get egg out from a Grarl into egg, it's probably not worth having an egg at all. Hope that helps. Uh, my teammate Double Shaman. Double Shaman's fine because this is a wave where Shaman is actually really strong. Let's 
Um, that can happen. If you egg late game, that's you're viable to uh, leak really hard. That's game. I get to kind of push here. My teammate did a, a pretty good job this game of uh, of capitalizing on the uh, the enemy's misfortunes. Um, he got some good eggs down. Got lucky a little bit by him, his team, his enemy sending poorly into the eggs, but that still was a good play. You egg, either egg early or don't egg at all, or um, go really late. We're just going to go verbal abuse. I, I almost guarantee he verbally abused. Um, if it's say, saying fair play, then I would almost guarantee it. So I will report. Um... How does shutdown gold work? Depending on what the enemy has for value, um, or like depending on what you have, it, it's basically a, a catch-up mechanic. Not the thing you put on a hot dog, but a, the thing that gets you back into a game. Um, it's basically a catch-up mechanic to try to give you an opportunity to get back into the game by giving you gold if the enemy is saving for an extended period of time and leaking, if they're higher in value than you, higher in workers than you, like there's a there's a lot of things that go into it. I don't know the exact algorithm, right? But um, yeah, that's kind of the, the basis of it. 